Hey, hey, what's up? And welcome to the video. Uh, you're looking good. I don't know what you're doing, what you're doing with yourself, but keep it up. You're looking good. In this video, we are going to be making uh, this or these, um, this cool kind of text person pop out thing. You could do it with like a dog or whatever you wanted. Um, but this is what we're, we're going to go with here. So um, let's just get, uh, let's get started. Um, you know me, I like to always reset my studio back to default just to make sure if you want to follow along, our screens look the same. And I do that by going to Window, Studio, and Reset Studio. Okay, so uh, let's start with the skateboarder first. Now, I have this skateboarder here and he's already, I've already isolated him. So I've used the selection brush tool to isolate him and pull him out from the background. If you don't know how to use the selection brush tool, guess what? I got the greatest video of all time uh, on how to use it. I'm gonna link that below. Uh, go, if you don't know, go learn it. People are gonna be impressed. People are gonna like, they're gonna wanna hang out with you. Um, they're gonna text you a lot. And uh, you know, it'll be, uh, it's, it's cool. So I've got this guy isolated already. So I got this skateboard. I'm gonna turn him off for the time being. And the first thing we need is a background. So to get a new fill background here, I'm just gonna go up to layer, new fill layer. I'm gonna select that. And I've got this blue selected here uh, already by default, which I like. So we're gonna use that. So you can see my layers panel. I've got my fill color. I'm gonna drag it down to the bottom because I want it to be in the very background. And next we're gonna add some text. I'm gonna grab my text tool over here on the left-hand side, click on that. I'm just gonna click and drag out and I'm gonna write the word skate because we're dealing with a skateboarder. And I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, maybe like this. And uh, yeah, I'll center it. And I know, I know you're impressed. This is very impressive. Okay, so this is where the fun begins, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna turn the skateboarder back on and I'm gonna drag him up to the very top so he's in front. And maybe I'll make him a little bit bigger. And I'm just doing on this on the, on the fly. So we're gonna see how this looks. We're gonna see how this works. Hopefully this, this turns out and I don't, I don't embarrass myself. You know, I do that enough in real life. Uh, so let's, um, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so I got my skateboarder, I got my text. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna take the skateboarder and we're gonna clip him inside of the text first. And to do that, I'm just gonna clip on, uh, click on the skater here. I'm just gonna drag him over top of the text and hit release. And now you can see he's clipped inside of the text. And if you look at my layers panel, I have a uh, text layer here. So this is my parent layer, the skate, and below is the child layer and the skateboarder is clipped inside. I can turn him on and off. And he's just clipped inside that text. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this skater. We're gonna make two copies of them. So on my Mac to duplicate him, I'm gonna hit Command J and you'll see in my layers panel, another one pops up. I believe on a uh, PC, you'll hit Control J. And if you don't like using shortcuts, you can always click on your skater. You can go up to edit, copy, and then edit, paste, and another one will appear for you. Now, now that I have two skaters uh, clipped inside of this text, I'm just gonna take one of them and I'm gonna click and drag it up to the very top because I want him outside of the text because that's how we're gonna get this effect. So I've got a skater on top, I've got a skater clipped inside. So for the skater at the very top, I'm gonna apply a mask to this skater so I can erase certain parts of the skater um, and give it kind of a cool effect. If you don't know anything about masks, I happen to have the greatest video of all time of on Affinity Photo masks. I'll link it below. Go check it out. Go tell your friends. Um, it's it's the cool. All the coolest kids are doing it. Um, okay, so I got skater selected here. I'm gonna go down to my mask button here at the bottom of my layers panel, right here. I'm gonna click on that. And I'm just gonna select mask. And when I do that, you will see a mask has uh, appeared clipped into this skater layer at the very top. And if you know anything about masks, you use black and white to conceal or reveal things. Um, so I'm gonna go over to my paintbrush here. It's a B on your keyboard. I'm going to my color tab. I'm gonna paint in black. And from here, I can just start erasing certain parts. So you can see, if I make my mouse a bit bigger, you can see sort of, if I start painting, part of him will start of disappearing. So let's just start. Let's see how this works. I'm gonna try removing maybe this part. And just to see how this looks, let's clip this part out maybe around here and down here. We'll clip them in like this. We'll remove this here. And that looks pretty cool actually. I don't know. I think I wanna keep his head like that and I wanna keep the, you know what? I think we're I think we're done with this one. That one's pretty cool. I, I, you never know how it's gonna go, but this one looks pretty cool. I like how his arms, his head and the skateboard are all outside. I'm gonna add one last little effect here. Uh, I have a video, you know, I'm gonna link this one too. 
Uh, I got free textures that I had in a video, a couple of videos ago, and I'm gonna turn uh, a texture on just to show you. And this is a PNG texture that you can move around uh, or resize to, um, to your liking. Um, this particular texture, I apologize, is not in that, it's a newer one. Um, but a, a PNG texture is just sort of an overlay that sits on top of your, um, or below, wherever you want. I could drag it to the top like this, and it would affect everything. I'm gonna drag it below. It could be inside. I think I'm gonna drag it right uh, below, so it kind of, kind of um, leaves it like a border. So here you have one version. I could also take this text here. I got my text highlighted here. I'm gonna go down to my effects, and I'm gonna add a little um, shadow. I'm gonna to go to outer shadow here, and I'm just gonna turn up the shadow just to see what this looks like. Maybe it's cool, maybe it's not. Oh no, it's cool. All right, and um, that's pretty cool. And one other effect, I got skate selected my text. I'm gonna go up to my noise button up here. It might say opacity to you, but if you click on this little circle, it'll turn to noise. Maybe I'll turn the noise up just to see what that looks like. Maybe just a little bit. That's cool. Okay, so that is example number one. Uh, pretty cool. Let's try another one. Okay, so on this one, I got a basketball player. And same thing, I've isolated this basketball player using the selection brush tool and we are gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna turn the basketball player off. I'm gonna create a fill layer by going up to layer, new fill layer. And I got this cool purple, which I like. Uh, now we're gonna add some text and I'm gonna to go to my text tool here. I'm gonna click and drag out and I'm gonna spell the word ball. I should also note I'm using, uh, the text I'm using is called impact because it's kind of a big, uh, like a bold font. So it's good to, if you have a skinny font, it's hard to um, show characters in and out of there. So let's just do this. And I'll center that. Again, I know you're impressed. And I'm gonna turn the basketball player on and I'm gonna move him up to the very top. Okay, so now we gotta find a spot for him where he's gonna look kinda of cool. Um, so maybe about here, we'll try. We'll see how this looks, I don't know. You gotta play around with it. Um, so he's clipped in, or, or he, he's, he's on top now, and what we're gonna do is clip him again into the text. And you do that by just clicking on him and dragging him over the top of the text. So now he is embedded inside the text, I have my parent layer and my child layer here. I'm gonna click on my basketball player and duplicate the layer. Um, you could right click and duplicate, which I will do just instead of hitting a shortcut. So now I have two uh, clipped inside. I'm gonna take the one basketball player and drag him up to the very top so he's on the outside. And now I have one inside and one outside. Okay, so just like the previous one, we are gonna to go to the top basketball player, the top or the outside one. I'm gonna click on mask. I'm gonna add a mask to that uh, character. My mask is here. I'm going to go over to my paintbrush over here. Click on that. And painting in black, I will have the option to erase uh, a certain portion of this guy. So uh, let's see, what do we want to get rid of here? Because this looks kind of neat. Um, maybe I will keep, uh, maybe let's take his leg out. Let's just see what this looks like. Take his leg out of here. So he's kind of stretched from one side to the other. And I kind of like the rest, to be honest with you. I don't really want to take any more of this out. Uh, his arm looks good here. It doesn't expand over here. This foot out here is pretty cool. So not too much on this one, but he's clipped in and he's clipped outside, which looks pretty cool. And again, let's turn on a uh, texture here. Uh, I got bad photocopy. I'm going to drag it above my fill so you can see it. And it just adds a little, kind of a cool little texture. Um, I might flip this to white. Yep. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take my bad photocopy PNG. I'm going to go to my blend mode up here. I also have a video on those. I'm not linking that because otherwise you guys are going to be like, you linked 50 videos. You're getting ridiculous. So I'm going to click on normal. I'm going to go down to erase and I'm going to make this one uh, white. So it just looks a little bit different. And again, I'm going to go to my text. I'm going to go down to my effects at the bottom of my layers panel. Click on that. And I'm going to add an outer shadow just to give it a bit of a pop. Let's bring that up a little bit. Maybe that's too much. Actually, you know what, on this one, let's try an inner shadow. Let's see what it looks like. Might be a terrible idea. Let's click on it and make inner shadow and just see. Oh, actually, it's not bad. Not too bad. Make a little inner shadow there. And uh, yeah, I think that works for me. So uh, there you have it. We have a couple characters. We got the skater and we've got the basketball player. We created a background, we added text, we clipped in the isolated subject into the text, then we duplicated that, took the duplicate, put it outside the text, 
applied a mask to remove certain portions of it. So the character looks like he's both inside and outside of the text at the same time. Uh, we added a shadow to the text and a PNG overlay to give it kind of a gritty, kind of a cool look. And that is today's video. Now, if you like the video, I'm trying to be a, the world's biggest YouTuber. Uh, I'm not, but uh, that'd be cool. Uh, so if you like the video, if you would help me out so much, and you know, I just like to say, if you could just tap, 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 tap that like button, it helps me out so much. You have no idea. Uh, and if you've never seen my videos before and you thought this was helpful and you enjoyed it in any way, if you want to subscribe, me and you are going to, we're going to hang out and we're going to talk whatever you want to talk about. Um, and, uh, leave a comment cause I read them all. I respond to everybody. I appreciate anybody who watches. I really do. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.